Jose just asked me a question. She said, can you make me a tea? And I said, sure, why not? Where is it? Because I was here the other day. I only see one, Jack Frosted. She wants the sleigh ride. Well, here we go, everybody. Introducing, that didn't work out. Well, there's the coffee drawer. <laughs> Somebody asked me why we ordered so much coffee. I was like, wow, but coffee lover. But uh, Nespresso, they actually had a deal on. If you ordered a certain amount of uh, boxes or a certain amount of, I forget what they're called, a certain amount of coffees, you got 30 for free. So that's why we did it. If you're going to order them, you may as well get enough to get the free ones, right? Because you're going to drink them anyway. But she wants this one, I think. Sleigh ride, as long as it's decaffeinated. Yep, caffeine free. Perfect. Check this out. It's a Canadian treat. Do you Americans or people from overseas, Great Britain, Australia, do you have these? Nanaimo bars. <sighs> if you don't have them, you are missing out. Jose saying something in the background. I can't hear her. You know what she said in the background? She's like, Jordan, Nanaimo bars are Canadian. It's like, no, you know, that's what I was saying. They are Canadian. They're so good. You got to try them out. If you can find a recipe or something for them or like find them somewhere, I... I I recommend it. It's like a Canadian delicacy. Fantastic. Hey, I managed to go a yet another day without getting a haircut. I feel like that was a success. And look at that. I still have a pab box thing on my arm. Stella, Tico, come on. Let's go outside. Ooh. Let's go. We're going to lose it. Hey, look, it's a Christmas gift I got for Jose. But it says Goofy on the top. Is that the wrong lid? That's just Goofy. The dogs love these treats. If you have dogs, these are like freeze-dried liver. Oh, they go crazy for them. Guaranteed they're already at the door. Yep, there they are. That's their bedtime snack. Goodbye, Stell. Farewell. No snack for you, kitty. You're already too large. Sorry about that. <laughs> What the heck did you put on the floor, Luna? What is that? Look, she already got a snack. Sheesh, where'd you get that from the pantry? What the heck? Oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> so I found out the most efficient way to pack boxes and packed a lot of boxes. <laughs> I think I got a little bit carried away there, but I need lots of these. Like when you think about how many of these it takes to Mills plate, a single 32 by 32 plate. So it's 32 studs, these are four studs, so eight across, eight by eight, so 64. So you need 64 of these to Mills plate, a single plate, which is insane when you think like the campground is, how many plates is that? That's got to be, what, three wide by who knows how long. There's like 40 plates there. Like, it's it's insane. It's it's crazy how much of that green plate you go through. And when you find it on the pad walls, you got to you gotta get it. And you know what? I, I will say that Lego does a great job of making the 4x4 four four plate in light gray and also in green. And the dark gray 4x6 plate, like, readily available on a ton of pad walls. Like... I see that stuff being replenished like every week. They always have this stuff, which is, well, not always. You sort of got to get lucky, but these are quite common pieces. So I'm very thankful that Lego does that because ordering the stuff from wherever, from bricks and pieces or brick link just gets so pricey in comparison to doing it this way. I spent four hours packing cups today, though. It's crazy. So I got this all set up on my desk here because that's the number one thing that I need to deal with tomorrow. I need to just work all this stuff into the parts inventory, break all this stuff down. I just can't find it in myself to just push this aside. <laughs> I have to like get it sorted before I move on to the next project. Plus I have like this other graveyard over here as well. It needs to be uh, dealt with ASAP. And then I can continue working on the medieval. I was thinking of doing something different in regards to that because so far I've filmed three videos on it. Moving the medieval stuff over there and putting the winter village up there and then building the river and the mill plates and then coming up with the layout with how I have it right now and building the trees. But I think I might just go like 
all in ham on it for the next like three days, four days, and just show the final product rather than filming another video on that. I haven't quite decided, but I think that might be cool. Rather than like showing or making multiple videos about the progress of me finishing it, I might just crush it for like three days and then upload that video of the finished product. It's not how I usually do things, but it is a different way that I could do things on the Brixie channel. That brings up another topic. I I'm not, don't mark my words in this, I'm not 100% yet, but I could treat the Brixie channel different. And what I could do is only produced, or not only, but produce like polished videos on there rather than making three or four uploads on making the medieval area. Maybe it's one or two, but those take longer time. And then vlog the more behind the scenes sort of process on this channel. I don't know if I'm actually going to do that, but I might because I sort of want to try a different style of content on Brixie. And I think that's what it would be just like rather than making four videos on the medieval area, you make one or two. So there's more that happens in each video and the video lengths are, I don't know, 12 or 15 minutes. So rather than having like three or four 20 minute videos, it's one or two 12 to 15 minute videos, just like a condensed version. And I've been contemplating this in the past too. And now that I'm doing this channel again, I feel comfortable maybe trying that on the Brixie channel because I still want to do this because this is what I really enjoy, but I also enjoy making the really polished, cool videos that accomplish a lot. Okay, I'm going to quit rambling and go to sleep. I'm actually pretty tired. It's getting late. Mrs. Brixie and I just finished watching a movie. She's already sleeping and I just realized that I am like covered in dog hair. I was just like lounging on the couch and I'm just covered in hair. But yeah, it's time to get some Z's and I can take care of this in the morning. All right, dogs, let's go. Come on, let's go. Lead the way. Ah, you know what? I decided that I will be sorting all of that Lego today in this vlog. But first, we gotta get the little munchkins up. Right, Millie? Yeah. Yeah, wanna have fun today? Good morning, Benjamin. And good morning, Mill. Did you guys know that I'm a gourmet breakfast chef? Like, it doesn't get any better than that. How satisfying is this? Unpackaged all that coffee yesterday. Whoo, filled up our little spinner hack. Oh, I'm excited to try these. Never tried these ones, they're like, uh, some sort of fancy double espresso. The festive black double espresso. Oof, oof, oof. Have to make some sort of latte. Got the milk frother. So the Oilers play tonight. And if they win, it'll be 11 wins in a row, Benjamin. I'm for sure planning on like getting this Lego sorted. And then I'm gonna work on the medieval area for the rest of the day and the rest of the night while the Oilers play. <gasps> you just threw that at your sister's head. Owie, you just threw this ball right at her head, Benjo. Doesn't care. Now he's upset. Here, it's time for breakfast, okay? If my brothers do something at my head, I'd be mad. You don't even care. So yeah, all right, on to the next. Uh, I don't think he actually threw it. I think he accidentally dropped it. What do you think, kids? Did Dad make some good oatmeal? Gordon Ramsay taught me that. I'm going to make some for myself, but I'm going to go with the maple brown sugar variety. <laughs> it's a healthy treat. This is the double whammy. I only whip it out for special occasions. What do you got there, Benjamin? A dinosaur? Yeah. You want me to play with your dinosaur? <laughs> what do you got there, Mill? Some cups? <gasps> do they go inside each other? Ah.
I might have got a little bit carried away at the Lego store yesterday, but all of these parts are going to come in very handy. That's a lot of tan, 1x4 masonry. Holy crow. And the uh, nougat there as well, and also light gray. Light gray, obviously good for any like castle builds or any sort of modular build or pretty much any sort of structure. And the tan ones I like to use for buildings, and I can also use them for walls. Same with nougat. You can see I've built a wall that spans from there all the way to the back up to the haunted mansion. And then I actually need more tan masonry, so now I have them to continue walls on the other side of the train station over there. That's a lot of green plate. You know what I need green plate for, just creating those plates. Got some 2x2 two two bricks there. Uh, I think these are going to pair up really nicely to create some cool vegetation, especially when I pair them up with those. Uh, once again, mills plates there. And then uh, the green brick, you can just never have enough of when you're doing big landscaping projects. I want to create more rolling green hills in the future, and those green bricks just allow me to do that. Like, this is all green brick, all built up. So that stuff will actually won't even get me that far, because when you think about how much green brick is on this plate alone... It's insane. So now what I can do is use that green brick and I can start to create some rolling hill effects here too in the castle area. And also use all that vegetation, like all those pieces to create new vegetation as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing later on today. I'm going to pair all this stuff up with my uh, slopes and also my curved slopes and all my different leaves and also uh, all this stuff down here create vegetation all these uh, little mini trees too I'm probably going to use all these in the medieval area that's why I didn't buy any at the Lego store the other day I got some tree parts here so yeah I should be able to go through here and use all these parts to create something pretty cool over there <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, file all of this stuff away and then I got to part out these plates I don't know if parting out this is top priority it's not going to take a long time well it will take a long time to do but i don't really need these water detail parts so i don't think doing that today is like my top priority but i definitely need to part this out just because that's some good gray brick and then also down here i need to part out oh haha <laughs> nice <laughs> that one got away on me i need to go through here and deal with all this stuff because this actually has a lot of valuable slopes that i need for that medieval project so i'm going to take care of that next after I file this stuff away, and then I'm going to start filming a Brixie video. But this is sort of what you can expect to see here on the Brixies. Maybe a little bit more of the behind the scenes stuff, and then in the Brixie video I'll actually like start constructing that and time lapse me doing all of the detail work over here. And that's what I'm going to do here today. So I'm excited. I got to get some coffee brewed, freshen up a bit and then start the next video on this because I'm so excited to get this project going and now we have like a crazy amount of pieces to do it. Well, I wouldn't say it's a crazy amount, like it's a lot of pieces, but it's not gonna get me very far. Like I've done hauls like this before, probably 30 times, <laughs> probably more than that. It's wild to think. Everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. I hope you enjoyed this little vlogaroo. Please remember to give it a big thumbs up there. Subscribe and stay tuned for some more stuff coming out on the Brixies. Farewell.